Although relatively modest in size, the Arusha National Park in the northeast of Tanzania contains a large variety of landscapes. Between the peaks of Mount Meru and Kilimanjaro is an idyllic and evergreen natural wildlife habitat. The animals of this region keep well fed, and numerous warthogs are perfectly at home here. The Arusha National Park is quite exceptional. In addition to its jungle-like areas, it also features savanna-like terrain, such as that of the Serengeti in Dogo. Baboons are to be found everywhere. Each group comprises between five and 250 members. However, they don't always live in perfect harmony. Hot disputes and bloody fights are common among baboons. They determine the hierarchy. Before they reach adulthood, the young males leave the family, while the females remain with the group throughout their lives. Because of their special adaptability and wide range of habitat, the baboon is not an endangered species. The Arusha National Park also contains rare species such as the Goretza that is also well protected here. On the park's various main routes, it's advisable to travel cautiously as the local wildlife often strays onto the roads. The forest regions of Arusha feature a large variety of plant life. To the east, the Ngodoto Crater is one of the park's most beautiful areas. The crater itself is a haven for plant eaters, and buffalo are frequent visitors. The surroundings of the almost 400 meter deep Ngodoto crater contain dense rainforests that are difficult to assess. A family of giraffe approaches visitors to the crater curiously and without fear. The up to five meter high giraffe are one of the most popular creatures to see on any African safari. They're both gracious and majestic. These animals were once killed in their thousands by big game hunters. So today, large populations of giraffe live only in East Africa. The colorful wildlife of the Arusha National Park provides a fascinating insight into the miracles of nature. However, the beauty of the landscape is no less impressive.
In addition to the Ngodoto, it is mainly the seven Momela lakes that are one of the main highlights of this remarkable nature reserve. The backdrop of the surrounding mountains gives this area a special atmosphere. In this section of the park and in the close surroundings of the lakes, several warthogs live in groups of up to 16. The warthog can be fierce. Indeed, due to its powerful teeth, it's able to fend off the mighty leopard. The seven shallow Mamela lakes are not good watering places for the wildlife as the water is extremely salty. But the various minerals within the lakes attract a large variety of birds. From April until October, the lakes are relatively peaceful. But when the migratory birds from Europe fly south, the Momella lakes abound with life. The lakes are fed by subterranean springs. Each lake's salt content is different, and so each is a unique habitat. For example, large flamingos prefer water that contains their favorite food, small crustacea. The small flamingos prefer lakes that are full of algae. 400 different species highlight the fact that the Arusha National Park is a veritable paradise for birds. Pelicans, stork, and numerous varieties of heron and crane inhabit the Momella lakes and add a great deal of color. The scattered bones of dead animals are a reminder of the natural cycle of life that is part of this fascinating world. But even the creation of a conservation area and the subsequent foundation of the National Park in 1960 was unable to prevent the annihilation of one species. Arusha's indigenous population of rhinos was completely wiped out by poachers, and even the elephants have withdrawn into the more remote areas of the park. Omnipresent in the background is the mighty 4,000 meter high Mount Meru, the holy mountain of the Maasai. Thanks to its unique landscape and large variety of species, the Arusha National Park enjoys a unique position amid the natural wonders of Tanzania.